Hi, welcome to Plain Food with Mami. And I am Mami. And today I will talk about uh, one of the etudes um, within the uh, um, <laughs> method for flute uh, pre composed, prepared by um, Altes. This is the book if you study flute. Um, you most likely you will go through this book in the beginning of your learning and there is the one music that uh, it's very important to go through with detail uh, regarding articulation so I picked the one music and I will write down the actual name of the number of this etude because it's there are, this say uh, number seven, but there are so many number seven. Anyway, so I will play so that you you would know which music I'm talking about. Anyway, I will write down the description down below. So, <clears throat> so music is like this. can recognize the music that the turn okay so articulation so I will go very detailed like one by one because uh, this music has so many um, focus points like uh, how to decide or how I will recommend to play so so this is the C major and two beat music it's a allegretto um, to think about articulation, maybe you don't need to think about uh, tempo yet. Hmm. Okay, so so first four note has slab. So just slab. So you will play slab uh, legato. So. Um, you have tanging, you will play legato, four notes, and then you will keep the G note, last note. You will, you will keep it, you will not jump even though the sla is ending. Mm. Because it's allegretto, alleg allegretto. So the tempo is not fast. It's not a little or pressed or something. So it's like one, two, uno, si, la, so. So I wouldn't jump after this first four note legato sla. So I will keep this G and then next note is B with tanging actually it's gonna be staccato anyway it has tanging which means you keep this G so G you will keep G and then next note staccato there will not be too much space between G and B So this is something you can practice with same note, for example, G and G. So you will keep G and the jump G, staccato G. So you will play first G and then staccato, two, two. So, um, 
if it's middle note middle um octave note it, sometimes tanging will not shape the next note i mean uh, note with tanging may not have a clear sound but the point is you will keep the note before longer note you will keep it just until the, just before the next tanging and to to so that you can change note like a so this case is G and B so the point is you're not gonna uh, you this is my interpretation but uh, you will not have too much space between G and B it's intentionally because this is a more like exercise and uh, this is like a um, mm, finding a way to um, adding the, your um, ability to play different way so keep this G and then next staccato tanging so this this part so this is already the first spot that you want to pay attention and then staccato right then next 16th note this is slow so you I don't think you want to jump this after after this little uh, sla, 16th note, two 16th note sla. I wouldn't jump. This is staccato, then jump, then I wouldn't jump after second B. I will keep and then next A with tanging. articulation for this music so for example if I don't do that then it will sound like this so I what I did is I jump um, after each uh, slot so instead of jumping and uh, if I do the more suitable way my way so um, now you hear the difference between jumping and not jumping I, I, I hope so if I jump each time when sla end, it's gonna be. So this is something that um, beginner may do when uh, they see this music for the first time without uh, any instruction. They may do it this way. They may just. Um, they may. Uh, how do you say it? just they go after the slap jump or medium jump maybe the person is not uh, intentionally jumping but it will sound like, like a half jump like a, you like a, that the note doesn't really have a uh, intention like a jumpy or not jumpy or stay not sure it's very um like a uh, like a no character uh, articulation so what I'm saying is if you decide to do jump do jump if you don't do jump hold the note until 
this uh, until next note. And I think for this music, this area, there's no jump. So the, for the practice, uh, you can do, you can add a little bit vibrato on the note, which is supposed to be held. Um, so. Um, you can add vibrato until you will um, execute the next note. Then you know which note is holding and which note is jump. Next note is tanging and jump. Uh, for example, next part. You can, so um, adding vibrato or pushing the, holding the note a little bit longer will give you the idea that like I am holding this note. I will keep this note and then I will add tanging on the next note. So you will think about it. You know, your brain will um, uh, understanding with what exactly you are doing. So this is something you need to wire everything. So do that little by little and then slow down and go very detailed. You will listen to what you are doing. So, so it's gonna be like this for a while. I will play without tongue, uh, without vibrato because um, this is supposed to be for the more um, uh, beginner uh, learner. So I wouldn't put too much vibrato when I play through. So it's the same thing. It's going to be like this for a while. doesn't jump you will hold the note until the next note so this is um, if you if you are coming back this music and then try to play it and if you didn't know it I'm sure you have been doing naturally but if you realize that that's the way it's supposed to be then um, pay attention to it and go very detailed, listen to what you're doing so that um, you will be able to make the difference between, uh, for example, adding the jump or not adding the jump or keeping the note or not. So this tiny, tiny detail will make big difference when you're playing the, some music, like a different music. You don't need to play this music when you're playing, for example, Mozart this kind of detail will make big difference once you notice and understand what you are doing and how you want to do how you want to apply certain art creation so that's why this is an important thing so i will continue talking about it with the next video thank you for watching bye